we are live. Welcome back, guys, to the Artful Podcast. It's me, Matteo, and today it's gonna be it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a nice conversation. Um, first of all, how how are you? How have you been? Um, it's been this weather. It's been crazy, raining for like three days straight, and now it's sunny again and yeah and then everyone is back to the parks everyone's back to the beaches and we are not caring about coronavirus anymore it's official we don't as a community people they don't care anymore and i was reading a bit um some news and apparently we should get ready for a second wave in the UK and uh, it's not it's not good because we can go back to lockdown well we never really been in lockdown but yeah we never been um, in a serious lockdown everyone really could could do whatever it they wanted really I didn't heard like any uh, case of like people got fined or people got stopped because like they couldn't stay in the street or in the parks everyone was doing and still doing whatever they want which is which is scary in case we go back to lockdown and we have to prolong that this period of um, of quarantine, which I'm, uh, I'm, I'm the first one. I'm getting a bit uh, sick of it. I start, um, I started with like I was like it didn't really change my life during the qu- like lockdown, the first quarantine, during the first like the first wave. We like my life didn't really change apart like I didn't have to go to work for like one day a week Um, but it didn't really change as I'm at home all the time anyway working try to create paint and yeah just i did this for like these three four months we've been in lockdown and um yeah so apparently we're supposed to get a second wave because people are no uh, social distancing uh now like in a week uh, pubs and restaurants are gonna open again so there's gonna be a massive wave of people going inside places together and stay for a long period of time in those restaurants in those cafe and I get it we need to move on at some point but I don't think we are there yet and we shouldn't um, but that's what they decide to do um, I think they have tried to move along uh, with the other countries as like Italy for example or France or Spain they which they're better much better than us that's why much better than the UK so that's why they are start to um, they start to open up and people just need to wear like a mask and and stay distant to each other from each other and but the UK in my opinion we are not there yet cases are like skyrocketing at the moment and again so we are not we can't we just can't go back to normal but in a couple of weeks everything's going back to normal so we'll see we'll see obviously take care stay safe and just just use common sense i think that's the base of like how can we how we can get out from this situation but anyway 
we are not here to talk about coronavirus, or COVID, or anything, or politics, or anything like that. So today, in this episode, I want to talk about something that, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, another one of this. Why people are getting so interested in something like this, and I don't understand. And well, I didn't understand at the time. It's just, um, it just seems like there is no much effect anymore in art, and people just as soon it starts to go uh, viral, or as soon it starts to get. Um, like social importance people they just follow they don't question and well let's let's dive in um, first of all it happened in 2019 so last year and you may have seen it on Twitter on uh, Instagram or in some newspaper because apparently it was so important that they had a front page with this and or you might or you didn't because you don't don't care and you didn't care enough to uh, notice and but that's what we're talking about today so shut up and listen and <laughs> today we want to talk about something that happened in the hard basil in Miami Beach. So last year, last year, so hard basil. It's an art fair. It's a massive. It's a massive art fair. It's thousands and thousands of artists in the same place for like. I think it's not even a week. It's, I think it's like four, three days, a weekend or something. Um, I'm not really sure. Um, I need to check that. But um, oh. Uh, let me check now yeah three days yeah three days anyway um, something that happened last year so you probably know this about or you probably understood from the title of the video um, I want to talk about the comedian by Maurizio Catalan so Comedian was is an artwork um, made by the Italian artist Maurizio Catalan, and the work was created in an edition of three, which they consist on fresh banana taped on a wall with a piece of duct tape. So, yeah, you can imagine when. I see this for the first time and you probably did too um, you saw that and and you saw how famous was getting and you were like I was like why just why why people just why and anyway let's let's see what this was about um, so, as I said, it was two edition of, um, two edition, well, it was three edition in the end, and two edition were sold for, you ready? So, the first two edition were sold for $120,000 at the Art Basel Miami Beach. And the third edition... It was sold for one hundred and fifty thousand dollar. I know, a banana, duct tape on a wall, sold for one hundred twenty thousand dollar. So, you you're asking why? Why is it been sold for that sort of? for that price and Art Basel it's always been one of those um, contemporary of concept or 
uh, installations this um, it's always been of like this modern art let's put it in under that umbrella um, it was full it's always been full of modern art and which always conceptual it's always something is pretty much always a meaning behind so obviously it's not just the banana it's not only the duct tape it's not only this this two object that um, made the piece worth $120,000 but most most likely was because he was made by Maurizio Catalan Maurizio Catalan for who doesn't know him um, and you may see this before it's he got famous when he created um, an artwork called a piece called uh, America and it was basically a fully functional golden toilet and Catalan it's the classic artist that use humor for his artwork and when they ask him why did you do that why did you create um, why did you put a banana duct tape on the wall it just said um, the banana is supposed to be a banana nothing more nothing less and I think it was sold for that high just because it was um, a Catalan first piece of artwork for a fair, for a hard fair in over 15 years so basically this um, famous artist because he's famous he's one of the most famous contemporary artists in Italy actually um, at the moment after 15 years which is a long time he decided to do an art fair again which is more like it's more like a popular um, base or like of an audience so I think um, obviously he's been working in these 15 years but it was for like private collector or something like that so I'm not sure what he did during this time but I'm supposing that's what he did and um, I think um, we are going and we and we are going back to a argument that we had the last um, in the last episode or the one before that we are asking ourselves is just because the artist is famous so he could do or she could do anything and it's considered as a genius we are going back on that um, because I think that's how I read it every time when I see like modern art or when I see um, conceptual art if the if the famous artist does whatever is considered as a genius it's considered as um, the new masterpiece or it's get a significant me media attention and is it just because the artist is famous so we can discuss that and um, we can and obviously when you see something like that on an, on a massive art fair art basel it's it's international it's everywhere it's in london it's in milan it's it's in miami los angeles it's everywhere and it's a, like it's a, one of the biggest art fair you can get into and when you see a banana duct tape on a wall you you say I could do that I, I, I could have done that like there's nothing really there my the class or you can say the classic my kids could have done that yes 
anyone with the basic motor skills could can duct tape a banana on the wall. But obviously, this is conceptual art. So let's see the concept behind this because there is a reason why the artist did this and it's it was on for my understanding was a critic to art or more specific I think it was to the audience was to the people that are going to see that most likely it was to the critics as well so I'm saying that because as soon art fair open insane crowds formed in front of comedian straight away it got attention from the beginning and security got involved they had to officially queue where where the banana was so they had to create queues um, so if you wanted to take a picture with the artwork you could have and it's really interesting to try to understand why it got why it got really popular in such a short time and I think it was because the artist Catalan was he was missing f for a long time in an art show and as soon the art world the people that are interested in art they and they saw that Catalan was going to be part of this art fair um, it got really popular and especially it was just because and then they got there and they see a banana on the wall so people were shocked and they just yeah they just started sharing picture and obviously go from there everyone was sharing their picture and it got viral and stuff like that so so uh, the I want to talk about so I want to talk about this especially because um, a specific aspect of this artwork you might don't realize when you see stuff like that that it's an organic it's an organic object so the banana is gonna go bad at some point and what are you gonna do that you're gonna lose the call you're gonna lose the um, artwork so who bought the banana for 100,000 pounds and more they're gonna lose the the artwork no and I think that's what is really interesting about this um, way of create artworks and this way of um, exhibit artworks so when actually you're gonna buy this kind of artworks in this case um, the banana duct tape on the wall is really interesting what are you actually buying because obviously you buy the idea and the concept that the artworks brings with it but not only that because those people actually bought something they pay the artist they got a certificate of authenticity and the instruction how to replicate the installation to perfection so that's what you actually buy a certificate a piece of paper that it says that you own this artwork so you're saying so these people own the banana no they own the concept they own the idea of the artist that they use that he used for the artworks the banana is gonna go bad so they're gonna change the banana at some point and once you change the banana you still have the same concept you still you still own the same idea of, of the artist even if it's the original banana it's not there anymore but you have the 
certificate. So you can make the artist basically allows you to recreate your his um, installation as many times as you want, especially because the artwork himself it's organic so it's gonna go bad and you can really keep it for f like for forever and so are you probably asking what's different if I do it myself so if you buy a banana and a piece of duct tape and you put it on a wall yes you definitely could do that you can put it in a house and show it to people but only the people with a certificate of authenticity could say that they own the artworks, that the artist gave the permission to them to recreate their installation. So they own the concept, they own the idea of what the artworks means, which I think is really, is really interesting. It's like, it's such a different way of brings art into houses is so different than what we are used to then basically you buy a piece of paper or you buy a canvas or you, you buy an actual material that it will last you forever and you frame it and it looks nice and you you put it on the house in on the wall of the house and everyone sees it and everyone says oh it's beautiful but you don't have that with this. You don't. It's not the classic, I buy something. I buy an actual thing, object. You buy the idea of what the artworks represent, which is crazy. Is um, I'm not for it. I'm not against. It's just mind-blowing in a way that... It's and it's not the first time that it happens. This um, the banana, the comedian, um, and I think the meaning of the artwork is called it's a hide in the name um, comedian. But we're gonna talk about this a little bit later. And um, it's not the first one that he does that. It's not the first artist that he sells the idea the concept of the artwork and anyone can reproduce the artworks um, this is the same for museums that they own artworks from uh, from artists that don't need to be there to create artworks what I mean so the museum buy the which happened they bought two um, banana to comedians artwork okay two bananas on the wall so two museum got those they don't need but obviously when as i said when they bought it they didn't bought just the banana they bought the idea the concept which come with a certificate of authenticity and instruction how to do it so only the museums with this piece of papers can replicate this installation and they can say they own this um, piece of artwork. And as I said, it wasn't, it's not the first time. Um, for example, um, you didn't need Le Wit to to come and paint the wall of the museum for for the exhibition he sent a certificate and instruction precise instruction how to do it and the museums and their people they created they made their wall their they made their artworks, if you can call that. So, you don't need Maurizio Catalan to go to the museum and duct tape a banana on the wall. 
so you don't need the artist what I'm what I want to get to is is the art is or better is worth it to go see in a gallery or in a museum or an exhibition as you are not actually going to see what the artist did as a regular artist will put effort in something in creating something and then they can bring the object the canvas or a statue or whatever around the world to exhibit it no you don't you don't need the artist you don't need actual first banana put on the wall so my question is is that art is that something that worth our time to go see because it's not it's not it's not the first banana it's not the one he put up on the wall if he did he that's that's not the artworks that only one person the artist can do can exhibit his skills and put it up in a museum or in exhibitions and I think it's really it's really interesting to understand asking if you can obviously I don't think we're gonna find an answer today but um, it's worth asking ourselves is that an artwork is that something is worth our time to go see because it's not the actual it's not the artist the artist didn't do that and I think he loses the value not the money because obviously it's a famous artist people are gonna buy it and people are gonna go gonna go buy tickets for the acts for the exhibition where these artworks is so it's not about the money it's about the basic principle of go and see something that only one person in the world can do go and see the an original piece that somebody did do you think it's worth it do you think is that art do you think that loses the value? Like, do you do you see it differently than a Monet, than a Caravaggio? Because it's something that those people can do only. You could see only Monet painting like that. You could see only Michelangelo painting painting like that. But you don't need the artist for put a duct tape banana on the wall which is fine I guess but I think in my modest opinion I think it loses a little bit of value um, and people should see it in a with a different eye and I think I got the perfect examples of what I'm trying to say because it happened expe- exactly to comedian, the art we are talking about. The banana during the art fair in Miami. So it got viral, right? And the art fair, as I said, had to put cue lines to respect. And if anyone wanted to take a picture with a banana, they had to queue. One day, a guy just took a banana, took the banana from the wall and started eating it. And yeah, he started eating in front of everybody the banana that everybody wanted to go see and take a picture. And you must think, oh my god, the artwork is damaged, it's lost forever, right? 
um, which is what you you will say you will think if somebody starts to break in a statue in a museum or if it starts to ripping a painting apart or if you start like damage anything like in a museum right that's what you will think but no nobody did panic nobody from security jumped on this guy because in a couple hours comedian the art piece was back on the wall the banana was back on the wall with his duct tape with everything because as, as we said they own the concept they didn't own that banana so it must I think it must lose some value somehow because it's not the only one the only banana that can be duct tape on a wall as is the only painting that an artist the only statue the only installation that an artist can create is i think it's really f- worth a thinking about that because it makes you realize that i don't know it's just it, it loses the principles of being an artist i don't want to be the classic oh paintings are the best and there's the only one classic art is the only one no i'm not i'm not against modern art i'm not for it it's just for me it's just really interesting to understand those little aspects of the artworks because i love for example i love um arte povera which is an italian movement that used um arti used everyday object to create an art piece like anything they could use anything to create an art piece and that was to um rebel to the artworks and it's it's a great movement if you don't know we might gonna do an episode about it because i i love that it's and and i did and i do sometimes do that i use everyday object to create a, an art piece to represent a concept that i have which i cannot do it through painting and drawing i think it's a great way to express yourself you shouldn't restrict yourself for like with paint and pencil that's not what i'm talking about um it's more it's the whole thing of it's not the only one it's not the only installation if you can call it if you can call that that exists so you you and then re- coming back on the banana you find out that um the guy that hate the banana on the in the um, during the art fair uh was an art in himself and he was actually performing his own artworks called angry artist and the artist is called the tuna my question is should we give this much import this much of importance to art like this should we give that much of importance to something that we can destroy it and we'll be fine we can just put the exactly the same object and is there we didn't lose it we we, we still have the artworks and i think to be honest the only good aspect of this it's when the artist dies um you can still have the artworks to replicate to perfection because you you have instruction how to do it and you can replicate the artworks anywhere in the world 
and you don't need ar the artist as we said because you have the instruction from the artist and I think it's the only good aspect when the artist dies you can still have that made around the world which is I think is great for like new generation and new um, like new people young people that want to go see the um, the specific artworks because if you lose um, a Botticelli you're never gonna have a Botticelli again because that Botticelli it's low it's, it's lost it's no you cannot replicate to perfection that because it's you needed the artist to replicate that artworks but I think what Ka Maurice Catlin in the in the first place he wanted to um, represent was was really funny and um, good because it's a classic concept to take something so common as a, like a banana and transform it in something of value and I, I love that concept the using the everyday object to create something that can be sold that it can be a symbol of the generation and I think it's a, it's a great it's a great concept it's a great way of creating art and um, it's really important to people to express themselves as they want um, I, as I said myself I can't just paint and draw anything I'm I wanted to represent so sometimes I do use object to um, create art and it's fine it's 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 a great tool and what I think he wanted to um, represent with this artwork it was a comic way to critic the audience and the critics of the art world and it might not be the art that we want but is the art that we deserve I'm gonna leave it with this one and that's it for today guys and um, thank you very much for listening don't forget to subscribe like share the video and from the Artwood podcast I'm out